lagi. Good. Hi, welcome back. Uh, as you have noted, those who have cal calculated the angle, it was the same same angle, because just like the diagonals of um, of, uh, of a rectangle, the diagonals of a cuboid are going to be the same. So the same uh, the same angle uh, we had calculated earlier still uh, was the same is still the same as the one you've calculated now i want us to get another angle remember we are getting an angle between a line and a plane and we said that the angle between a line and a plane it is the angle between that line and its projection on the plane now we're going to do another angle here i want us to introduce a point here on the line a b the point uh, uh, is exactly at the middle of uh, point, A's, uh, point A and point B. Call that point uh, T. Uh, the dimensions here are all in centimeters. So AB is 6 centimeters, BC is 12 centimeters, and CH is uh, 5 centimeters. Uh, we have a point here. Uh, the point is T. Point T is uh is a uh, is the midpoint of a b so this one is going to be three centimeters and that is three centimeters i want us to calculate the angle between a line t e from t uh to the to point e a line t e and the base first off we need to get the the projection of t e on the base again using a torch uh, you light uh, uh, directly above the line so its shadow is going to be cast on the base such that the line it is going to form is that line now if we extract a, a triangle e t g r e t d it is going to be a right angled triangle and i told you as you're going to note uh in this topic we are going to be dealing with right angles and uh when you have a right angle all the three trigonometric uh, uh, ratios um, apply that is tan sine and cos now if we get uh, e t d uh, that triangle the right angle is at point d this point here that point is d then at the top here we have point e and this is point t uh, the angle remember the line is t e and the projection is td so te and td the angle is this for you to calculate an angle using the trigonometric, uh, trigonometric ratios uh, you need at least two lines for you to get an angle if you look at this what we have here uh, from t to d we don't have the length t to d we also don't have t to e but we have a line uh, d E. DE is the height which is the same as CH that is 5 centimeters so we know that that is 5 centimeters now we need to get at least one it is easier for us to get DE uh, DT how now do we get uh, DT DT if you look at this figure here uh, the base is a triangle like that that is the base we have a point A here then we have a point B here. This is C, this is D. Remember our point T, it uh, is at the, it's the midpoint of AB. So our point T is here, that is T. Now the projection of TE on the base was the line TD or is the line TD. Now this is the line and that is uh, this line here. That is, uh, we want to know the length of TD. From A to T as we found out because it is the midpoint is three centimeters then ad ad is the same as bc so ad is also uh is 12 centimeters just like bc because this is a, a rectangle now we need to get this line that line happens to be the hypotenuse of this triangle dat the hypotenuse now if this is 90 degrees that's a right uh, angled triangle we get the hypotenuse that is going to be the square root of 12 squared plus 
3 squared. That is the square root of 144. Uh, this is 12 squared, 144 plus 9. That is going to be the square root of 153 with your calculators. Uh, but we can still use, because this is not the final answer, we can use the length dt as root 153. Root 153. Now, if we now get to to our diagram here, our triangle, our right angled triangle, dt is now root one, uh, root 153, root 153. It does not mean that you cannot calculate this one, but please avoid using rounded off and uh, uh, calculations to get another calculation. That is why I'm avoiding that by using the, ex uh, the exact one, which is root 153. Now we can get the hypotenuse. Uh, we don't need now to get the hypotenuse. We have two lines already. That means that we can get the angle. Our angle, E, T, D. Remember the most important thing here is coming up with the correct uh, um, triangle. If you have the correct triangle, it is possible for us to calculate an angle. Now, the angle here we are looking for is angle E, T, D. If you look at this, um, relative or in relation to our angle, call our angle theta, in relation with that, this is opposite to that and this is adjacent. Uh, for those who use Sokatoa, you note that that is going to be cosine. The cosine of theta is given by opposite 5 over adjacent root 153. So, um, let me rub this. So, uh, cos, the cosine of theta is equal to opposite, which is 5, over adjacent, which is root 153. So, if I want theta, uh, theta is going to be equal to the cos inverse of uh, 5 over root 153. And we can all do that. I'm also going to use a calculator to do that. Uh, that is uh, divided by root 153. Then we get the cos inverse of that. Uh, just a moment. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. So we, we're doing uh, 5. 5 divided by root 153. By root 153. We get uh, this is a cos inverse of 0 0.4042. So we get the um, the cos inverse of that of zero point. Just a moment. Zero point zero. Ah, uh, zero point four. Four zero. Four two. Four zero. Two. That is 66.17. This is equal to 66.17 degrees. And uh, if you look at this, now 66.17 uh, 66 degrees, or you can give it one decimal place, 66.2, is this angle. Our angle is 66.17. So note that. Uh, this is something we did in Form 2 uh, using trigonometric ratios uh, to calculate angles and, uh, and lines. Remember, you could also be asked to get the length TE. I told you in the uh, beginning of this lesson that we are going to be calculating distances or length and, uh, and angles. So it is also, you could also be asked to calculate length ET. Now that we have this and we have this, we could use Pythagoras theorem. Now that we have an angle, you can use uh, tangent, cosine, and uh, um, and sine. In this case, what would fit us is uh, if you have, we know that 
uh, the cosine of 66.17 degrees is equal to opposite 5 over hypotenuse and uh, if you form an equation you are going to be able to calculate that now this a cuboid is one of the most common uh, uh, one of the most common figures in 3d but that does not mean that there are no other figures you could have other figures but as long as you know how to get angles using right angles uh, in most cases they are going to be right angles if not we are going to make uh, to make right angles out of them as we are going to see now i want to do another very common uh, figure that is a right uh, pyramid um I will also ask you to use any other book, uh, for example, your KLB books, to get uh, questions from that. Now, can you later? You can quit. It's gone. Um, we can. Now, I, I'm going to draw a right pyramid, uh, and that would be a figure I had drawn at the beginning of the lesson again. Uh, this is the base. The base is uh, rectangular, like that. Then, say that if it is a right pyramid, it means that the center uh, or the vertex is exactly at the, uh, above the center. Now, um, let me join this one to make the pyramid like that. Now, the base is rectangular and uh, we can label this P, Q, R, S, then the, uh, the vertex we can call that V. Now, um, an angle, again we are still on the angle between a line and a plane. In this case, I'm still going to use the base. Uh, on, the, on the other diagram we had, it is not a mass that we use the, the base as the plane. There are six planes. You can get the angle between that and any other plane. I'm going to explain that later. Now, if it is the base here, we could be asked to get, let me use uh, this one, the base, these are eight, and these one are six centimeters. Um, then we have two heights here for this pyramid. If you look at from V to R, it is also a height, but that height is known as a slant height. Then we have a vertical height that is from here up to V. Now, uh, let's say for example, we were given the vertical height as um, uh, 12 centimeters. Now, the first question, question number A, we are asked to do, to calculate the length v r that is the slant height again we are going to extract a certain triangle here remember as we had said this one is a diagonal of the of the base and the base here is a rectangle how now do we get how now do we get uh, the length r v again we extract a certain triangle the triangle here is the vertex v we call this uh, uh, point on the base O, so this is O, and this is R. So we are calculating the length VR, this one. For us to do that, we need either an angle and uh, two lines, or we need two lines to get that. Now, the lines we have here, uh, V to O, that is the height, we have 12. We don't have this angle, which we, ca we could be asked to, to calculate. We don't have OR, but we can get OR. How do we get that? PR is the diagonal of the rectangular base. So it is possible for us to get that. The diagonal is a hypotenuse to this. Remember, the base still is a rectangle. We have P, we have R, uh, we have Q, then we have R. So we are looking for the length PR. PR is the hypotenuse for this triangle. This is 8, this is 6. So this is the square root of 8 squared 
64 6 squared 36 so the square root of 100 which is 10 so from p to r is 10 if you have another diagonal here it is going to pass through point o and this one divides this one into two equal parts so this one is 5 and this one is 5 if the diagonal is 10 now if you look at or this is what we have here or or is 5 centimeters now how do we calculate vr vr it is going to be possible uh, using a uh, pythagoras theorem that is 12 squared 12 squared plus 5 squared then we get the square root that is the square root of 144 plus 25 that is 169 the square root of 169 is 13 centimeters so vr is 13 centimeters so from there I want us to calculate the angle VRO using any uh, using any uh, possible uh, trigonometric ratio. You can use tan because we have all the lines here. You can you could use cos or also sine. I'm going to give you very uh, little time, just three minutes. You calculate that. We come back. Then I show you that angle on this one, an angle you could be asked to calculate. We'll be back.